hot or cold on the NRL fantasy top 10 most owned players. We're having a look at these guys that are probably in your fantasy team and whether we like them. Spoiler early here, there's a couple of guys that we're pretty cold on. Um, Fungi, mate, I'm going to throw to you first here. Nathan Cleary, 51.15% of teams. That's absolutely crazy. Is he hot or cold for you? Smoking hot. Hotter than Taylor Swift. Hold on, Taylor Swift, mate. That is a big call. Our uh, three percent of the audience that's women are going to be absolutely <laughs> fuming with you. I do agree, though. He's he's super hot. He's that captain option. It's hard not to get Nathan Cleary. Next guy here, Payne Haas. What are you thinking? Smoking hot as well. Yeah, he is scorching hot. He is an exploding sun right now. Look, didn't score below sixty till round eight last year. He's priced at sixty four. I think there's not a lot of risk in this, and there's actually upside for a seventy plus average over the first couple of months. You want him now, you don't want him during Origin, so use one trade only to get rid of him before Origin rather than trying to buy him later and then having to sell him again. So that's a trade saver. We've just saved you a trade. You're welcome. Ben Trebojevic, how are you feeling? Lukewarm, 18 degrees with a chance of a shushter rain cloud. <laughs> little shushter cloud, hey? Um, yeah, I agree with you, mate. He's I'm a little, probably a little warmer. He's a starting back rower that you can put in at the center spot, and he's basically base price. But, man, you've got to be ready to replace him at the, the drop of a hat, right? Correct. All right, we'll bang through. Ryan Pappenhausen, 495K. This is pretty clean, and I think this is scorching hot. Look, he's a guy who's oh. averaged 56 in his career at fullback. Probably doesn't goal kick this year, so maybe you knock that down to about a 50. Still at 495K at a position that's pretty tough. 40.1% of you know this, but the other 60% 60 need to get on. Red hot. Do you agree, Fungi? Don't worry about the injuries, guys. Just if it happens, it happens. Just get on. Look at that mullet. It's smoking hot. <laughs> stunning. Stunning, mate. You are so descriptive today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, KO Wiggs. KO Wiggs. Have we finally hit a cold front, or do you think this guy's going to win the sixth spot? Yeah, it's cold like Canberra. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I might even, I probably might even be my team because of the price, but he's just, yeah, cold, I think. Yeah, mate, hell has frozen over on this one. Look, it is it is so cold to me. Look, the fantasy pedigree was not there last year. You throw in the fact that Strange has been playing well in the trials. I look at this, I think Seb Chris comes back. I think there's a very, very real chance that KO Wicks does not play a lot of first grade this year. Um, and when he does, the 18.3 average, it's not that misleading. There are a couple of bench games, but I still, I don't believe. So I'm, I'm, I'm cold in this guy. I think you can skip him. Brendan Piakura, 399k. How are you feeling? Hot. Hot because of the price and the potential and the role. Mate, the offensive upside in that role, I completely agree with you. Red hot. Xavier Wilson? Luke, warm to cold. Uh, I know a lot of people mm. have him, but I'm not sure if he's going to get the minutes. That that pack in uh, Broncos play a lot of minutes, and so I'm, I just don't know where his minutes are going to come from. So you're sitting here saying 35% of coaches are fools. They're, they're making a mistake. I wouldn't say that. I'm not going to be grudging when that gets him. Look at the prize, double dual position. I just think he might be a slow churn. I don't think he's going to be, you know, I think he's going to get 25, 30 points a week and just plug away. See, I agree with you. He's going to be a bit of a slow burn, but I think he'll be one of those slow burns like we removed Greg last year where there are going to be chances to play more minutes, and he's going to be a guy that converts minutes to points as well as anyone. The other thing I'm looking at here is when he got the chance to play a bigger role in the All-Stars game, he was fantastic. So mm. I look at him, I look at Flegler leaving, I get that Jensen is the replacement for Flegler. I just don't think they're going to be able to hold back Xavier Wilson's talent for very long. So he's, he's red hot for me, but don't be judging it over the first month of footy. That's all I'll say. Uh, Josh Curran, 501k, it's a nice price. He's been as high as about 50% at times, but it's 33% now. What are you thinking? I think let it go. It's frozen. Yeah. Frozen? Wow. <laughs> I mean, you are a Jamin Salmon owner, um, so that makes sense. So you think Salmon wins that starting spot? For the first couple of weeks. We'll see how we go. Like, at the moment, <laughs> at the moment, he's got that spot. I, I've, personally, I think Curran's a better player. Um, but at the moment, looks like he's lost out for whatever reason. So he, that, this could change, but at the moment, he's not that good. He's cold. He's frozen. That's crazy, man. See, I've got him warm. Um, I think off the bench, it's going to be hard to pick him. 501k, it's not a nice price, but 
I just think he's going to win that spot sooner rather than later. But if he is named on the bench next week, yeah, he becomes cold for me too. Uh, Ethan Strange, how are you feeling? Cold to lukewarm. I mean, it's hard. Ooh. I don't know. You know, Ricky, has he even got a spot to me? I just don't know. So He's hot, mate. He's hot. Yeah. He has a spot. He definitely, I reckon he's played his way into a spot. Um, I think he's the closest thing they have to a Jack White in replacement. And if you're going to be rebuilding a little bit this year, then give him a go. Give more. Give Morgan Smithies a go. Give, give these young guys a go in these spots and see what they can do. But remember, we are talking about Ricky Stewart, so logic doesn't come into play. You're right. Everything I said there was uh, a bit too logical. Um, Sammy Hughes, where are you there? He's hot. He's the Max King of a couple of years ago. That's a massive call. See, I if I had to choose between Sam Hughes and Xavier Wilson, I would choose Wilson myself. Wow, um, really? I think, yeah, I, I just think the dogs are a bit of a mess with these selections they're making. They're, they're kind of crazy to me. I think Sam Hughes is a young guy. Look, he did get the Jacob Preston Best Trainer Award in the preseason. But I sort of just feel like he might plot along a bit. I, I, I think he looked really good. It looked like a kind of big unit, big motor. Um, I think he looked pretty kind of outstanding, actually. So yeah. I'm pretty high on him. Um, obviously, he's not going to be a gun, but at that price range, I think he's going to be a quicker moneymaker than Willison will be. Big call. All right, I'm keen to come back to this in two months and see. Although then the origin period might play into Wilson's hands more, but how long do I want to hold that guy in my team is, is probably the question. I'm going to give you a couple of bonus guys here. Ruben Cotter, how are you feeling about this? Obviously, you liked the mullet before. Do you like it again? He's hot. Ruben oh, Cotter's yeah. Hot. yeah. What about the fantasy? Oh, okay. Sorry. I <laughs> got sidetracked there. Um, <laughs> no, he's hot. I think he's he plays so hard. If he plays the way he plays in Origin, he would be a fantasy god. But question is the minutes, but I, I'm willing to back him. I think he'll get the minutes. He's got the captaincy armband. He's re ready to go. Well, 27% of coaches agree with you. Yeah, look, he went down about 10 points on average last year. Can he bounce back is the question. The answer is probably yes. Um, last guy, Harry Grant, hot or not? Warm. Obviously the best hook in the game, but I don't know. I, I think that that round four buy really kills it. Um, so he's warm for me. Well, 25% of coaches are very hot on Harry Grant. Look, that, that takes us through hot or not on the top 12 most owned players. We we're going to start top 10, but look, I know you have a bit of a crush on Cotter, Bungie, so we had to throw him in. Thanks again for jumping on and uh, drop a note in the comments on which of these guys that you're going to be skipping this year. We'll see you next time.